Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. I got another package in the mail. This is uh, something I ordered off of eBay. So I was out there looking around the other night. I had some eBay bucks and offers going on. I thought I could see what I could find out there. And as most of you know, coins and bullion don't usually qualify for eBay bucks. You can find them. We have some great people in the YouTube community go looking for them for you. Mr. Vegeta, the Stacking Nerd, Losing Louie has a lot of good deals on his video descriptions. So these guys uh, do a lot of great homework for you to find great deals on eBay and other websites. So if you're not following them, if you're not subscribed to them, you should be. It takes a while to go through these auctions and these websites and find the good deals and to recommend them to us that we benefit off of their hard work. So I would encourage you guys to go check them out if you haven't already and uh, subscribe to them and check, and check out their videos. I think you'll really enjoy them. But this one I found on my own by, by going out there and just doing some looking. So I got out of the coins and bullion and a little secret, little tip here. Look through other categories. Look through like collectibles and antiques because those qualify for eBay bucks. And that's where I found this one at. I found this in an antique category. And so I was able to get it for a really good price. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. Alright, so it feels like everything is down on this end of the package. So let me cut it open up here. And, uh, I don't know if there's probably going to be some type of receipt in here. Look at that. A package inside a package. Gotta love it. So let me see how I want to open this thing. Let's slice down here. So I got a little story that goes along with this. So this was labeled to be Roosevelt Dines on the ad. And I'm sorry, that was labeled to be Mercury Dimes on the ad. But the picture showed Roosevelt. So I sent the guy an email after the auction. I said, hey, he said it was Mercury Dimes and the picture is Roosevelt Dimes. I want to make sure you're sending me Mercury Dimes. And guess what? They were Roosevelt Dimes. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Why don't I uh, give you credit to your account or let me see, I just want to see what you put in here. It's just uh, 145 dimes. So I said, oh, I'm so sorry I was wrong. They're actually Roosevelt dimes. I can either cancel the auction or I can give you a $10 credit. Then he said he was selling them for a friend of his. He knew that daughter, his daughter was having cancer treatments and needed the money to pay for it. So I'm like, ah, geez, no, no, don't, don't, you don't have to send me back anything. Don't have to cancel it. You know, worlds of all dimes are fine with me. I just wondered about it. But oh, look at that. There's a mercury dime right there. So anyway, this auction, like I mentioned earlier, was for 145 dimes. And picked it up off eBay. And you can see a nice little assortment here. And got them for a great price, which we'll talk about in a minute here. A little bit of smudge on that one, but overall, you know, constitutional silver. Looks pretty good. And I did see that one Mercury stuck her head out. Don't know where she is now. I buried her in the pile. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? Look at that. So yeah, I felt kind of bad getting these for a good deal, finding out that, you know, somebody saw them for for cancer treatments, but I didn't know that when I purchased it. So at the time that I purchased these, and it was a bid, it was an auction, it wasn't a buy it now or anything, it was an auction, and I got the last bid in just in time. I got these for a dollar fifty per ounce under spot. So that's a pretty good deal, huh? Now most of you are saying, what are you crazy? You've been getting constitutional silver for three dollars, four dollars an ounce under spot. Why would you get it for only a dollar fifty under spot. Well, I have to tell you why, because a dollar fifty under spot's a great price, and uh, I'm not gonna 
turned down almost three rolls of dimes uh, for a buck fifty under spot, that's for sure. So yeah, I picked it up for a good deal. So 145 dimes equals $14.50 in face value. So, speaking of face value, I almost showed you my face. So we do 14.5 times 0.715. There's 10.36 troy ounces. So yeah, another 10 ounces to add to the stack at a buck fifty an ounce uh, below spot. Pretty cool deal, huh? Pretty happy with that. Well, nice little pile. Nice little pile indeed. And uh, happy with it. Uh, I can find myself five extra dimes laying around, I'm sure, to make three drawers to put in the guardhouse box. And we will be three more holes in that box filled up. So anyway, I just want to encourage you guys, uh, keep your eye out on eBay. I've said it before, because a lot of my earlier deals, before I found my resource locally, I used to find constitutional silver quite a bit on eBay under spot. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of uh, looking around, following auctions, seeing what other people are doing, being there at the right time, making the right offer. But as you can see here, it is possible. So keep searching, keep looking, keep finding. It's fun. The treasure hunt is fun. It's a little bit different nowadays. We're not out in the jungle with a shovel. We're surfing uh, websites and trying to find the best deals, but it can still be pretty enjoyable to do that. So that's it for now. I really appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that now. And also, check out these two videos that just popped up. Got some great videos out there, some great content. I'm sure you'll like them if you click on them. And always remember, let's keep talking boy on.